Okay, uh, I think I want to do this short video today uh, to come up with an idea that um, chances are great it probably won't go that far because I'm just one person. <clears throat> but I hope it's a good idea and I hope it will actually go somewhere. And so, um, got to figure out where, where I'm going to start out. How do I explain this? Okay, I guess <laughs> I guess everybody knows that you know Linux is developed by people, I guess, in their spare time or in their their work, uh, making different pieces and parts of software that all work together in, in to come into one thing, which we we commonly call Linux, and. Um, so I've been thinking about some of the recent frustrations that I've had as a desktop user. Um, you know, um, just getting a little bit of contrast between a desktop and a you know a server. Pretty much, um, Sam you know Samba solid, um, Apache solid, you know, IMAP Courier is probably solid. You know, fetch mail. Will, download your mail if that's what you do or, or you know on the server side Linux is in pretty good shape you just have to know what to do it's kind of like a how-to thing I'm grabbing something here so hopefully I don't look like I'm doing a weird head dance so uh, anyway I've, I've had some frustrations recently and the reality is, is that volunteers make these things. <laughs> I wouldn't have anything, since I can't program, I wouldn't have anything, wouldn't have this camera program to use at all. Or the driver that <laughs> makes this camera work. Or, you know, the codecs or any of those things. I wouldn't have those things if it weren't for the volunteers. But from my end, I still encountered some frustrations. It would be nice for me to know what I know now, or think I know, think I've discovered right now, is that if I pick this certain cross-section of settings in, in this, this version of Ubuntu, with this camera, with um, this GVC viewer, with the codecs that I have installed, all these different parameters on this machine, Then it, my video will be clear, I think. It doesn't look clear now that I look at the screen. Um, is that out of timing? Let's see. My, it's like a half a second behind. Hmm. Maybe this isn't the right thing to use. Nonetheless, um, my hope is, is that I'll find the right one to use. And once I find the right one to use, I'll have a place to, to say what I did to get it to work optimally for me. And other people doing other things could say, well, this is what I did to get my thing to work right. And this is what I did to get my thing to work right. Um, bug reports are good too. But in the meantime, sometimes knowing what you need to do is a typo because just for just for instance um, this camera I have various choices to make as to what I want to use so I have um, different frame rates I got one, one slash five to one slash thirty I'm not sure what those mean default was one slash twenty five I've got a resol I have several resolutions I could pick from it default was 960 by 544 but who knows that's really the best now or at one point maybe it was or maybe it never was maybe it's just there by a fluke I don't know camera outputs MJPG and I'm using the raw image format and I picked a video codec, codec of MPEG4 and I did um, the Matroska format for, for video some of the things I don't exactly know what they mean or how they fit together but at least what I could do is say okay 
the, all these different things that I tried, I was finally found my happiness uh, using this uh, under these parameters. Well, if more people do this kind of thing, and there's a place people know to look, they won't necessarily have to say, run into other problems that come up, or go, you know, go to the form. My camera's blurry. And that's a little harder to answer in a form. Yeah, they, you know, they have to put all this stuff down, and someone would have to know already, you know? Um, say, Linux, you know, someone goes to Linux questions, and they decide they're going to put... If I put all these different parameters in Linux questions, what's the chance that someone's going to be there to say, oh, no, you don't want to use MJPG because for some reason that is a little choppy on the upper left, uh, or, you know, try this other thing, you know, you know what I'm trying to say? So these wouldn't necessarily be bug reports, but these would be um, just a community effort of desktop users to report uh, what works for them and what doesn't work for them. Hopefully, it's centered towards the desktop, but it's not going to be exclusive towards people that are working on the software. If they want to, if someone that's working on a pro like this GVC viewer, if they're working on this project, or or maybe the guy makes the codec, I'm not even sure why the the audio and video would be out of sync, but but it is I mean, some under some parameters might also want to look at this thing and, and see what, what went wrong. We'll describe what went wrong. What do we use when it was wrong for us? It didn't turn out the way we wanted it. What do we do to fix it? And that way, um, God, I don't like the way this camera is. It's so hard to, just the, the physical camera. Um, that wants to look like Mr. Towering and, you know, <laughs> anyway. Just here, I just want to talk. Can I talk? Can we talk? Okay, just two people talking. Okay. Um, if I can hold this straight or bend it up or something, is that good? Okay, maybe that'll work. Don't want to look like I'm towering over anybody. I just want to be there talking to you straight on. Hi. Um, probably wouldn't have a, <laughs> probably wouldn't have a post for that, but anyway. Um, Hopefully this will, one, reduce frustration on the part of the end user for complicated things of this nature. Not necessarily a how-to forge. Almost like it, but I guess maybe these would be video... I'm trying to decide whether I should have this be video... Maybe it should be a video report so people can see what you're doing on the desk. I think that sometimes um, in a complicated setup it's easy to make a mistake as to what you actually did. Again, it looks like my video is like a second behind my sound of my own voice. Hmm. Just while I'm doing it. While I'm doing it right now. I wonder what that is. So I'm going to play with this and see if I can get a better one. And if I finally get to one that I like without it being too late. Because I'm going to go home. Um... Then I'll do these things once in a while, you know, um, go into just various subjects and just poke around and do things and make a report of what, what worked and what didn't, and hopefully it'll be helpful. Now, yeah, I guess in the area of video reports, they have to be pretty small, and they would have to be just on the one thing you're doing. Um, so we're just dealing with getting a camera tuned. To have your video on that, and that's it. I don't know if this camera could take changes on the fly. I think, I think it can. Let me see. What if I... That wouldn't work. I'd have one file with code, raw codecs in the beginning, and I don't know if that would work. Let's see. I'll go to PNG now. I'm in PNG now. Um, just just change the name of it. I'm still capturing, so. Um, let's see, I'll change it now, right now to 30 FPS. What does that do? Does that, it seems like it's almost a little better. Now it sounds like, it almost as if my voice is almost cut up with the video. Um, 
the resolution? I don't know. Let's see. 960 by 720. Uh, that won't work unless I restart. Okay, I'll restart later. But the setting's still there. And they just talk about what you'd like to see in, in the app. Don't want to be a nag to the developer. This is a this, this software here is a gift, right? So, um, yeah, I'd, I'd like to see a camera there. Please, <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, it seems like as time goes on, my the video does get lagged. Let's see, one. <laughs> It's like it's like it's like I'm in slow motion, or I'm just a little bit behind. It's like I'm watching a French movie while I hear my own voice, or a foreign language movie. Where are the subtitles? There. <laughs> okay, I'll stop.